Hi guys, I'm having some coffee and I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready early because I don't want to feel rushed. It's been so long since I've done a makeup tutorial. I'm going out. We're going to be meeting up at 7 and it's like 2 o'clock right now. <laughs> or a little past 2, probably like 2.30. But I wanted to go all out with my makeup. I'm starting to honestly fall in love with makeup again. So it's so exciting. I'm going to zoom in. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna do my eye makeup first because I kind of want to do something very bronzy and I think I'm gonna do like a nice smoky lash line. I'm using this Ace Beauté Eyeshadow Amplifying Base in the color Light. I actually got this in my BoxyCharm and I love it. I typically use concealer to prime but i've used it a couple times and i feel like wow this is really good it's very light but i kind of like that because it brightens my whole like eye area during the pandemic such a hard and weird time that makeup was obviously like not the focus and i stopped doing my makeup it was more like just like fresh easy makeup where i would just do like some concealer, blush, mascara, brow gel, out the door. Lip balm, you know? It was like that kind of makeup. And I'm now starting to fall back in love with makeup. And I'm so excited about it. Because it's just been so long since I've felt this way. Probably about two years now. I haven't like really gotten creative and done my makeup. So I'm just so excited. I'm gonna set with a little bit of this banana powder. This is the Ofra one. I really love this for the under eye area. It's super brightening, but I'm gonna just set very lightly. I have this eyeshadow thing. I've had it for so long. It probably my, most likely is expired, but I mean the consistency of it is still really good. Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I really like the consistency of this cream one. It's really nice and thin and it's like a really pretty shimmer. I'm gonna put it all over. It's it's more of a neutral color, which I really like, because then you can kind of go any way that you want with it. And a little bit does go a long way, so you really don't need to add too much, because then it'll, it will crease up. But if you add just like a nice thin layer and you can build it, as long as you build it in thin layers, it will be creaseless. I'm gonna do a little bit of this color right here from the Natasha Denona palette. This is the Camel palette. Put the same brush in it. And I'm just gonna lightly emphasize my crease. Just add like a little warmth to it. I want to try this one. I've had this for super long as well. Ooh, I really like it. It's like taupey and it's really pretty. I'll use a brush too just to blend in here a little bit. I don't even know what I'm going to wear yet, but I definitely know that I'm going to I want to dress up and like do heels and all the things. I don't know if I want to add a little glitter to it or not. I'm kind of thinking about it. I have this beautiful moon dust. The one that kind of went viral, Space Cowboy. I bought it because of that on TikTok. It really is gorgeous. You can wear this on its own and it's so pretty. But maybe I'll just pop a little because it just gives you these little... Yeah, that was a good choice. It gives you these little flex of glitter and it just looks magical i got this new brush that i'm really excited about it's super thin like look at that i love to use a gel liner for a smoky kind of situation i haven't used a gel liner in i, I don't even know how long because i just do like a liquid nowadays when i want just like a little flick see it stayed <gasps> This is the Maybelline uh, Eye Studio Gel Liner. Just go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. So thin. 
This is crazy. Look at how thin of a line I could create with this. Putting on a little more product. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Look at the difference it makes. It's just crazy. It's incredible. I'll see just a black eyeshadow. And before it even dries, I, I like to go in before it dries because I think it it's easier to create the smokiness. So I want it to be like a more diffused line, but I want to still keep it kind of thin because I have hooded eyes and if I just go really thick, you won't be able to see all the eyeshadow that I have on there. So we're keeping it thin, but we're bringing it in all the way. Ooh, sultry. Yes, 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 I love this. I'm using telescopic mascara. I'm gonna do individuals, these are 11 mm. The duo glue, the green one. So you just pop it in to the glue, and then you pop it on to the base of the lash. Lashes are on. None other than my Kosas foundation because love this with a passion. It's so good. So lightweight and it just feels like you're not wearing anything. Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Precious Petals. Look you guys, I use this thing every day. I love it so much. It has, it's more of like a pinky kind of peachy highlight and I just love the rosy glow that it gives. I'm gonna go in with this peachy corrector by LA Girl. Oh shoot, I squeezed out too much. It's for whenever my dark circles are a little crazy like they are right now and I want a super bright under eye. It's a game changer when you use one of these first. And I try so hard not to make a face. So I love this under my eyes because it's so hydrating and it just lays so beautifully. But I ordered this online and the color is just a little dark. Like it's almost the same color of my foundation and I want a brighter under eye. So I'm going to go in with this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer in the color C2 and it's like a really white color. Like it's super light. See that? So I just kind of want to layer it because this is actually a bit dry. Together though, they make a really great combination. Down my nose here, up here, and here. I haven't done this in so long where I've like done a full on makeup. I'm so excited. All right, coverage is flawless. Bring in some bronzer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And I've been using this for years. I absolutely love it. It just blends out insanely incredibly. So I just love it. And we're going for all of it. We're gonna do cream first, blend it out, and then I'm gonna go in with powder. I think I'm even gonna bake today, which is so crazy. I haven't baked in so long. I'm excited because I lately have just been setting my T-zone if I set my foundation, but day to day, I don't even set my foundation. I literally just wear all cream products. But today, we're going all out and I'm so excited. See how it just blends out so seamlessly? 
and it just takes two seconds. Sculpting with warmth. I've been seeing this thing on TikTok where you contour, it's like the JLo way, contour the outside of your lips. This is a really warm color, but it's fine. We're ready for a blush. This is kind of a new blush that I just recently got. It is the Tarte blush in Peach Sunset. This packaging is so different. It looks orange, but then this is the color inside. Weird. It's blendable. So, I like it, Picasso. I'm really loving the way this is looking. I'm gonna use this powder. Do we just go ahead and finish the eyes? What I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this color on the bottom and just kind of like lightly smoke it out. I was totally gonna go for a really bold eye, but I just love the way this is looking and I feel like I don't wanna add anything else to it. Let's go in with the banana powder. I'm gonna use a puff. You can't get this anymore, unfortunately. This is the Tati Beauty one. Uh, it's really big and I really, really love it. I dip in, get a good amount of product, and then I look up and I pat down. Now I'm gonna do my Iconic Linden Bronzer. This is the ultimate bronzing powder. This bronzer is huge and I absolutely love the color. It's like a really gorgeous warm tone. And I'm just gonna blend over top a little. The hair has to be tossed around because it's annoying me being down, but I'm having such a good hair day, I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to do my eyebrows, but I think I'm going to do my blush. I'm going to use this. It's on its last leg, but this has been my favorite color. I've been using it every day. It's called Rose and Play by NYX. Pinky tone. I have been trying to put my blush kind of higher up right here, but I can't just leave it there. I love still putting it on my on my apples. New trend is just to put it up here, and I just feel like that doesn't it doesn't sit well with me. It feels weird. Like I'll drag it up there more now, and I do like the way that looks, but I still have to bring it down. Like it just looks so girly and pretty. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's do the eyebrows. Next brow gel. So what I like to do is I run the product along the bottom like that, and then I take the brush and I this is, or spoolie. This is just a clean spoolie, and then I just brush up. So fast, so easy absolutely love it and then i also if i ever want like a little bit more i go in with the nyx feather brow pen thing sometimes i'll just put a little bit of stroke at the end just to elongate my brow a little bit oh also oh my gosh i am obsessed with this control freak it's like hairspray in a bottle it sets them so well, and you really get that feathery look. I don't do mine too feathery. I feel like people get a little too crazy with trends, and we're all gonna look back and we're gonna be like, what were we doing? Like, I know that I look back at makeup that I've done in the past, and I'm like, what was I thinking? But the feathery brows, when they're just standing so high up, to me, just looks a little wild so i don't like them to be just like straight up i also have never gotten the uh 
you know, like the trendy thing that everybody's been doing with the putting them up. I was gonna say micro needling, micro needling. <laughs> That's not what it is. Laminating, there you go. But I'm afraid of doing that because the product is very intense and it just kind of scares me because I just right away think like, what if your eyebrows just fall out? Like, can you imagine all your brows just fall out? I know that obviously a lot of people have done it and their brows <laughs> haven't fallen out, but that's probably something that you shouldn't do though very often. Like you can maybe do it every so often, but not all the time. I don't think that that's like good for you in the long run. This reminds me of perms and beauty school and how horrible it smelled and how many things went wrong. <laughs> this is amazing. Add a little bit of that same color that we used in the crease, just like lightly on the bottom. Mascara on the top and then I'm going to do mascara on the bottom with this one because this does not go anywhere. It does not smudge at all. It's the Item Beauty Lash Snack. I got it in my BoxyCharm and I always have an issue with mascara tending to kind of leak and that one does not. And it's not waterproof which is incredible. Putting on mascara really amplifies them too. Look at that. I almost forgot highlight. Like, who am I? No, no, no. Love some highlight and I love the classic, like, down the bridge of the nose highlight. And we're gonna... Ooh, yeah, you see that? This is so gorgeous. I love it so much and then once I put the setting spray on too it just will blend the highlight in even more to where it's more natural and kind of in the skin more for my lips I'm using the Kajar waist lip pencil and bear it's like the most beautiful pink color I put on just a little everywhere and I'm kind of meshing my lips together to really get kind of almost a stain out of it. Setting spray. This isn't actually the right thing that's in here. I just ran out of it and I put three different sprays in here. <laughs> I basically mixed the Iconic London, that shimmery spray, MAC Fix Plus, and then I had this other one that was for my boxycharm it was a brand that i don't know but i basically had a little bit of each one left and the bottles were just taking up too much space so i combined them together so excited about this gloss <gasps> yes this is exactly the kind of color like look at how beautiful exactly the kind of color that i absolutely adore and i'm done i'm done with my makeup oh. i hope you guys like it and are interested in everything that i have to share with you guys i am so grateful that you stayed and watched if you did if you're still here thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video